Hassan Piker, a prominent Twitch streamer, was involved in an incident where he laughed at a Jewish man being thrown to the lake, which was live streamed on Twitch. However, there was no mention of the man drowning, rather it was about him being thrown into water. This video, maybe that's why they re-edited it. Save free Palestine and we go. Good. Sky <laughs> They threw him in the canals and said, save free Palestine and we go. He's could not independently verify all of the no, footage shown. Like, Police arrested I six- I don't feel fully bad for people who are like Hezbaris, but like a little, when you have, when you see that clip and you have to pretend it's like not funny. Yeah. Like you lose something as a human. Okay, but you know, people will, people get mad at you. They're gonna be like, he's gonna be killed. People. Digital Musters company X Corp, formerly known as Twitter, has indeed expanded its legal action by including Twitch in a lawsuit that claims the company, along with other advertisers, participated in an organized boycott of advertising on X's platform. This legal action follows a series of events after Musters' acquisition of Twitter in October 2022 where concerns about content moderation policies led to a noticeable decrease in advertisement revenue. Nick White, a streamer associated with the Kick platform, has indeed been identified as a man, as a person of interest in relation to an ongoing case involving Action Man. According to a post on X dated November 19, 2024, there are indications that he might face arrest due to his involvement in the case. However, the specifics of why he is considered a person of interest or the nature of the case with action men are not detailed in the available information nick white person of interest why am i on the court documents for a court case where action man got arrested so let me explain action man did some kind of predator stream where they caught the guy and he got beat up or something i was never involved I wasn't there. I didn't even go live that night. I was at my apartment, probably sleeping and eating and watching movies. And now my name is on this court document for the arrest of them as a person of interest. And why does it have five notes? Like, how am I in this? How is my name in this at all? whatsoever did someone say they were me did someone put me how where is my name coming into this situation please tell me genuinely tell me how this is possible someone said my name so what five notes five notes did everyone say oh nick white did it nick white did it nick white did it nick white did it is that what that happened nick white is listed as a person of interest and we've got a nate johnson which says another person of interest and this under the note says business manager for Aaron Travis, who is action man. So a couple of people's names in there that may. Uh, yeah. Why am I in there? Why? I don't understand. Do I have to call the fucking court and say, Hey, it's Nick white. I'm listed as a person of interest and I didn't fucking do anything. I never even, I never participated or I had nothing to do with it. Am I a person of interest because I reacted to a clip the next day? Or what? What? What's my involvement? Please tell me. I don't understand. What? So, yeah, it's funny because you guys you guys all think it's funny. Like, lock him up. Yeah, Nick's going to jail. Lock him up. Yeah, we've all been waiting for this. Like, shut the fuck up. I didn't do shit. They're not locking me up. Me President-elect Donald Trump attended a SpaceX launch in Texas on November 19, 2024. Alongside Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, this event was highlighted by media coverage and posts on X, where it noted that Trump and Musk watched the launch together, emphasizing the strengthening bond between the two figures. The launch involved SpaceX's Starship, the largest rocket ever built for its sixth flight test. Trump's presence was seen as a demonstration of his support for Musk and SpaceX's projects, particularly given Musk's role in advising Trump's new administration. The launch was also attended by several Republican senators and other notable figures showcasing the political and industrial significance of the event. Valkyrie, a popular internet personality, along with her podcast co-host, have publicly criticized Nick Fuentes for his provocative statement. Why would you want to force someone to be in that position? It's yeah. not fair and it's not your body. So it's literally not your choice. Dude, it is 
crazy the stuff I'm seeing on Twitter. I want to just crucify all of these. Oh, I was going to get too political again. But all these like red pill incels on Twitter because there's too many of them it's, and there's not enough people being bitches to them. It's just they don't care. Like, I, I think it's just a, it's a power dynamic that some of these guys crave. And it's just really scary, you know, realizing like, wow, you know, because I was born this way. <laughs> Yeah, I born also this way, I don't really got a choice anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I've hallucinated of what would happen if someone tried to like kidnap me or hurt me or harm me in per real life. And I've you get scrappy. Oh, yeah. No, I've I've hallucinated about it so many times. Like, I will kill you. <laughs> I will go to prison. I don't mind. I'm I down. believe that I, I will. <laughs> like, I'm going to gouge your eyes out. I will bite your nose off. I will literally stick my finger up your <laughs> political commentator Hassan Pike has said controversy by labeling CNN anchor Dana Bash a fascist while criticizing Zionism during a video segment where she was her sign off in to debate the appropriateness of his remarks. Piker's comments aimed at what he describes as fascist ideology of Zionism has been criticized for potentially conflating cr criticism of ideologies with personal attacks, especially in a sensitive religious context, despite Bash not having publicly declared her own views as Twitch's official position is that uh, saying someone is Zionist trash is uh, a bannable offense. I disavow this uh, this statement as I am a loyal soldier for Twitch and I do not want to get banned so I can continue being an outward critic of the Israeli state and the things that the Israeli state does. Okay, you should not say it in the chat either. You will get reported, but the reality of the matter is Dana Fash is a fascist. That's it. Zionism is an it is a fascist ideology. I spice the 23-year-old rapper known for hits like Munch Feeling You has recently been the subject of widespread discussion and speculation on possible body transformation. Fans and observers has taken to social media platforms to comment on her slim down figure, leading to debates about her health, beauty standards, and the methods behind her weight loss. While some celebrate her new look, others express concern over skepticism, with some sh suggesting she might have used metaxemphic for weight loss, despite Ice Spice herself denying these rumors and attributing her transformation to her rigorous to 